Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. Welcome to my shop. I'm going to show you an add-on to our Cosman workbench that'll make it a lot easier to handle long, wide pieces, particularly if you're having to plane the edge. It's a great addition to the bench. Stay with me. I'm Rob Cosman, and welcome to my shop. We make it our job to help you take your woodworking to the next level. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and don't forget to turn on the notification on your mobile device so you'll know every time we release a new video. Good? All right, back to the bench. But what we're gonna talk about today is what do you do if you've got a long board to plane and it's a little bit awkward to try to plane at this height. It would be nice to put it down here. Now, as I mentioned, we have a video that walks you through adding an additional bench vise or what we would call a face vise. Well, you can put that down in there and hold the edge, but depending on how long that is, you're not going to be able to plane that without that dropping. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna add a piece right here that will hold bench dogs and give you multiple options as far as height. It'll be flush with the edge of the bench so it doesn't interfere, but it, it becomes that third hand that you almost always are looking for when you're working around your bench. But I want this to look right for this bench. So first thing we need to do is get our height. I'm just gonna get approximate. So it looks to be about 27 and seven eighths, but I'm gonna go with 28 inches to start and then I'll trim it to fit. Now, if you want it to look right, we've already got a radius on this. So if we put another piece the full width, you're gonna see that gap down there and it just isn't gonna look right. So what I'm gonna suggest, or at least what I would do, is make it so that this piece lands in where, before the radius starts. So that would be right about there. Probably best to say an inch and seven eighths in width. And then we want it to be flush with this. Don't want it to stick out because when you clamp your piece, you want it to lay nice and flat. So we eyeball that and it looks to be that's a strong inch and nine sixteenths. We'll go with that. Now there's one other thing. When we uh, when we built this one, there's a bit of a radius right there because you couldn't get the uh, you couldn't get your router in right into the sharp corner. You I could, think it might look a little bit neater if we went in there with a chisel and actually cleaned that up and cut that so it was a nice sharp corner. And we'll do that before we actually proceed with it. But the other thing is, what do we want to make it out of? It could be a piece of solid wood or it could be a piece of plywood since it's all, the base is already made out of plywood. And I've got some extra plywood pieces already glued up, so I'm going to build mine out of, out of Baltic birch plywood. Hey, if you like this video, we have more. Our newsletter has subscriber-only content, monthly discount on tools, and anything we bring out that's new, subscribers get first crack at it. Click on the link below. Let's get back to work.
Now we'll set that right there. All it's going to need is just a screw, one screw here, one screw there, and we need to drill our holes. And I figure our spacing should be, well, maybe we'll start with one right about here. And for the first, for the first foot or so, we'll do them every two inches, and then we'll maybe go to three inches the rest of the way down. Now, drill these. I uh, have a piece of store-bought dowel, and it's actually seven eighths of an inch. So rather than rather than drill a one inch hole and then have to go turn it, I turn a dowel. I'm just going to use what I have. Now we'll put a screw. Maybe we'll, rather than put it in there where there's not a lot of material, we'll put one right here and one down here in the bottom. No particular placement. I want to have those countersunk just so they're not going to be in the way and the head won't end up bumping into the board. I find it's easier to put your dowel in there rather than have a, a, a sharp edge like that. I'm going to put a little cord around on there. just makes it easier to locate. And when you're in the heat of the moment, you don't want it to mess with that. Now, that also serves to help me this way. I'm going to plane that, and if I didn't do something here, all the fibers would break over, so having put a little cord around on there will keep that from happening. Just eyeball that. Can't really do much up here at the top because there's a radius on the bottom side. Now just, this doesn't look right, and I can't leave it that way. So there's two options. We could come in and we could start back here somewhere and just cut a chamfer up to the bottom of that radius, which might not look too bad. Or we could just cut another radi cut a radius here that matches this one. And that, I'm not so sure that would look so good. So I think what I'll do is come in here I'll mark it and I'll come back here somewhere and just taper it from there to that point. That means we've got to go back in and we've got to continue this radius, follow that along. But that'll, that'll eliminate what looks like a gap.
that's better. We don't need that <coughs> much more than maybe two inches. So if we cut, we'll cut them three and a half. Only need one. Let's do that. What do we say? Three and a half? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think this actually might be a bit too long. You don't want to get it in the thigh. Put your board in there. Secures it well. Now that's sticking out about almost an inch beyond what we need. So I'm gonna take that. As long as, it, as long as it's flush with the side of the bench, we don't need that much exposure. Take about uh, well, three quarters of an inch off of it. Try that. That's better. No Charlie horse. So if you want to make your bench even more versatile so that you can handle long pieces, take a half an hour and do one of those. The only thing left is where you're going to store it. I've got a little spot right in there, but probably best to drill a hole somewhere right in along there keep it out of the way, but at least you know exactly where it is and it's close by. There you go. If you enjoy my method of work and like my style of teaching, click on any one of these videos to help take your woodworking to the next level. I've always said better tools make the job so much easier. If you click on the plane and chisel icon below, it'll take you to our site and introduce you to all the tools that we actually manufacture right here in our shop. It'll also give you information on our in-person and online workshops.